Hey, hey, everybody, it's me, your old pal, Double D. It's been a little while since I made a video. I'm kind of running out, so I figured kind of got to. Now, I'm still up here, of course, in the Room of Doom. The cave is still the garage, so anyways, moving right on. Today, we're going to be reviewing a figure that I got on sale on Amazon which we'll also be discussing in a moment. And uh, it's something I've wanted. I don't have, so I wanted, you know. And it was on sale. That's the most important part right now. I do plan on making a, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm a little flimmy this morning, making a video on why I'm saving money right now, but, you know. Let me, let me adjust my lighting. There we go. Okay. Let's do this. Un, dos, tres, cuatro. Uh, today's figure is, boom, sorry, I'm using my phone right now, so, yeah. the Batman Classic TV series, Batman 66, whatever the heck they call it, Batman, now I have the other version of this that came out a while ago, well, not this one from this line, but, the old Batman, but it just doesn't fit with the others, the colors all wrong. And I do enjoy this line, because I do enjoy the TV show. But the, uh, as I said, I got this from Amazon. Of course, this came through the mail. It was, the funny thing is, it was in a hard box. I mean, it wasn't an envelope. It was in a hard box with a few other things I had to get. And that. Come on, Amazon. You knew what it looked like that when you packed it. I know I got it for a lesser price, but I didn't order a damaged one. It looked fine in the picture. Didn't mention anything like this when I ordered it. But since I'm an opener, it doesn't really bother me so much. Just that, you know, just put it in the description. Be cool, daddy -o. Anyways, as I'm trying to keep these quickie reviews quickie, let's take a look. Of course, he comes with the classic pow pow thing. I never actually noticed much. And of course, Adam West, the Batman. Okay, Michael Keaton's the Batman for me, but you know, still a pretty cool Batman. Over here, the picture of this in the Bat Cave. I keep seeing this Batmobile for sale, but it's always like 50 bucks, and I can't afford that. So, <clears throat> that's the back, that's the front. Let's get it open and see what we got. Dang it. We got a package that even though it's torn doesn't want to freaking open. There we go. Okay, we're getting in now. Hey, you know, while I'm doing this, you're kind of bored. Why don't you uh, reach down there and hit the like and subscribe button? Huh? A little quick for you, kind of cool for me. I mean, I'm not monetized or anything, so it doesn't really make me any money, but I'd like more people to see my videos. I'm just an average collector sharing his love for the genre. God damn it. Uh, anyways, okay. What do I do with my supplies? Oh, here we are. Okay, first of all, of course, like I said, we got these things, which are okay. But here's what we're for. We're here for the main man. The main Batman, if you will. I should have brought that cash back closer. There we go. Anyways, here we go. Basic figure. A good head sculpt. I wanted to get the one with... The Bruce Wayne head, but honestly, my target doesn't carry anything anymore. Good detailing on the cowl. I like to let you remember the arch was on the eyes are well done. Wait, where's my? Here's my pointy stick. Here's my pointy stick. I don't want to touch. It's my pointy stick. 
in the bottom jowl, you can see that's obviously supposed to be Adam West. It comes with a cloth cape. Not bad, not bad. Nice and short the way it's supposed to be. Sometimes they make things with the capes too long, and it's like, no, Adam West had a short cape. So you get in and out of that Batmobile. Standard articulation for one of these figures. The head turns back and forth. and You get a bit of a... Head's kind of stiff on this one, but you do get a bit of a tilt. Your arm comes up. Supposed to go all the way around, but mine's really stiff. Giggity. Comes up. Bends at the elbow. The wrist has... Okay, the wrist has turny. That's about it. Of course, the waist goes back and forth. The leg has standard forward. Bend at the knee. No foot articulation, but then... I kind of like that. Now, the detailing is really nice. I like the way they got the gloves, because his gloves were always getting wrinkled in the show, if you remember. You'd always have to be straightening them out. And the... Uh, uh, looks like some tooth marks on this one. I don't think they can. There we go. Anyways, it's not important. Maybe that's where the shark got him. Actually, there's another scrape over here, too. Dang. wonder if I just did that or if that was there. Not important. We won't be staring at his legs. Oh, he's got fine legs. Oh, boom. And the belt pouches, though they look upside down. With a little... And the symbol's not upside down, but... Dang it, it's been so long since... I gotta go rewatch that series. Because it looks like the belt pouch is open to the bottom. <sighs> anyway. And I also like the fact they didn't make him over-muscular. Some people have a tendency to do that. Don't get me wrong. Adam West was apparently in great shape. But... Oops, knocking stuff over. Trying to find my lazy Susan. But he wasn't a muscular man. Well, an overly muscular man. Definitely a Myron Myron. I wonder if he's going to stay. There we go. Well, as you can see, the boots are nice too. I always heard rumors like he had to staple the top of the boots to get him to stay up. I don't think that was true. That would just be stupid. Take a look under the cape. Yep, the details. Now, people are going to say it's a lack of detailing, but hey, sometimes you can over-sculpt these figures. They're supposed to be based on a character. The, the, the representation of him in the TV show. So, and his costume was kind of basic. Hey, McFallon, if you're listening and you're not, how about you give us a line of the old TV serial? I mean, movie serial. You know, the ones that came out in the 40s with the floppy ears? I'd buy that, too. With a 50-year-old Robin. Uh -huh. Now, the one thing is, you can see down the top of the belt. You can see the... Yeah, move that bit. You can't see it so much. Oh, no, you see it on that side. See the way the legs aren't quite... The waist is kind of wider than the torso. But all in all, it's a cool figure. If you're a big Batman fan... You need to add them to your collection. Adam. Adam West. <clears throat> Sorry, laughing at my own jokes now. Uh, because, you know, there is no Batman without Adam West. He kept the thing alive when it was starting to fail. Brought back popularity. Him and George Reeves. Again, that'd be a cool figure. Not the one they released in the Batman 66, of course, because that looks nothing like George. Looks more like the guy from the serial. In the 40s, who, by the way, was drunk all the time. At least that's what I heard. Moving on. Cool figure. I recommend it. We're almost at the 10-minute mark. So, uh, what do you think? Is there any other figure in this line you enjoy? I mean, I already have the Robin. And I got the one with him in the gas mask. And I've got the Joker. and Mostly stuff I find on sale. And these things went on sale quite a bit at Target. Except for this one. I actually paid 15 for this one. But I needed it to complete the line. Not the line. The uh, the rows of Batman. He's just the right height. The other ones were too short. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, y'all have a nice night.
Double D. Out. Now you notice I resisted singing the theme song this entire video. You're welcome.